Let's get down on our mat. We're staying up, starting, lying down, knees coming into your chest, giving yourself a nice hug. We want to warm everything up. I do have weights out today, a couple of different sizes. We'll be doing all of our strength training exercises. Here comes those little circles on your back. Make this feel good as you take it around in one direction. You will take it around in the other direction. Circle it around, circle it around. It is a long stretch. Reach from your fingers to your toes. Reach, 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 reach. Feel free to arch your back. Take your arms and legs off to one side. There's your side stretch. Focus on lengthening the side of the body. Arms and legs go off to the other side. Bring yourself back to center. There's that long stretch. Now flex your feet, press your heels down. Bring one knee into your chest. Keep the other leg out straight. Here's the opening. We want to start getting a nice opening for your thighs, your hips. Arm opens to the side. Knee goes across. It's your spinal twist. Now we're warming up. Be gentle. Be nice to yourself. Bring it back to the center. Hold on behind your thigh. Press your foot into the ceiling and add a little bend. We're working on our hamstring. We're going to warm up the lower leg. There comes that push and a bend. Keep this one up. Soften the ankle. Add ankle circles around in one direction. Ankle circles in the other direction. Figure four, bring the foot over the thigh. Take a quick little stretch for your hips right here. Bring it up. Long stretch. Reach from your fingers to your toes. Get everything out long. Feel free to arch your back at long. Now you're going to flex your feet. The opposite knee comes in. There's your hug. We are taking the arm open to the side, knee goes across, gentle, just enough to get everything warmed up. Bring it back to the center, hold on behind your thigh. We press the foot into the ceiling, you add a little bend. Push the foot up, add your bend. Here's that little push and bend. Now you're going to keep this one up. Soften the ankle, add your ankle circles in one direction, ankle circles in the other direction. Figure four, bring the leg over the thigh, bring it up. There's your stretch for your hip. Foot goes down to the floor, both your feet are down, arms are by your side. Take a couple pelvic rocks, cross your entire spine into the mat, and now a little release. Here's that full press down. Now we're rocking our pelvis as you press down and then release. Press down, release one more time. When you finish this one, take a bridge, arms by your side, lift your hips. Give yourself a stretch here, shoot the tailbone away. Open up the front of the thighs, the quadriceps. Bring everything back down. Do that one more time. Lift the hips. Bring it all the way back down. Arms are going overhead as your hips go up. Hips go up, arms reach over. We bring it all back down. Two more times like this. Arms and hips go up and over. We always start warming up the upper body as much as we warmed up the lower body. This time, you're lifting your hips halfway up. You just have a little halfway. Fingertips go to the ceiling. Add an upper twist right here. You want to warm up. Little twist for the upper body. Bring it to center. We twist off to the other side. One more time each side. You have your twist off to one side. Your twist off to the other side. 
return to center, can't slow down, but now you push your palms in towards the ceiling. You want to stretch out your wrist, take your fingertips away from you. A little extra stretch for the wrist, thumb is in the wrist crease. Add your stretch here. Some wrist circles, take your wrist around in one direction, wrist around in the other direction. Arms are coming down by your side. We have some four angels. Here's your chance, warming up the shoulders. Maybe they go all the way up, maybe they don't. Wherever it feels good, adding some little up and around to wake up the shoulders. One more time, finish this. Hands go behind your head, classic crunch. Here comes your little exhale lift up and release down. Little crunch up, release down. It's your lift and lower, lift and lower. We have four, three, Two, one more time. Relax the upper body, march your legs, just a little bit more core as you focus on the lift of a knee, tap down, lift a knee, tap down. It's a lift and tap, lift and tap. We have four, three, two, now stretch your legs all the way out on the floor. You're gonna take a long stretch, reach from your fingers to your toes, flex your feet. We are going to roll up. Now if you wanna use your thighs, go for it, chin to chest, rolling yourself all the way up, drop your chin to your chest. It's your spinal stretch once we're here. Drop the chin to the chest, roll through the spine. Bring yourself up tall. Open your feet about the width of your mat. We're adding some spinal twists here. Hands in front. Add your twist to one side. Add your twist to the other side. Now you're really thinking a little bit more core for your obliques. Think movement through the upper back. Mobility for our upper back as you take it side to side. One more time each side. Spinal stretch, return down to the center, hands go down, wherever it feels good to get your stretch. Then start bringing yourself up. We are going right into our chest exercises. I'm going to move my weights, heavier weights, up where I can work the chest. I also have my set that will be set up to go four flies. However you want to get down safely, you might want to grab your weights when you're down. Maybe you grab them before you're down. Chest press here. Arms are in line with your chest. You add your push and you bring it down. Now, we want to keep the weight in line with the chest. I say this often. This is the chest exercise. If you feel it a lot in your shoulders, there is a good chance that you like to have the weights come closer to your head, kind of shoot them a little further towards your belly button if that happens, and focus on the muscle group we're using. We're using our chest. This would be our version. If we were doing it on the flipped over, it would be a push-up. So think of that push-up and control down. <laughs> we're doing a total of 20 today. Little higher number of reps. There's your up and control it down. Up, control it down. Five more. Five, four, three, two. There's your last one. Now, pullovers are going to be next. I am going to set one weight down, and I'm doing it with one heavier weight. You could also choose to use two if you want to hold on to two. Sometimes I do that. Today, I'm holding one. 
It's your pullover. We're doing a total of 20. As we do this movement today, I want you to focus this movement is also meant for your chest and your back. And I mentioned that because if you tend to feel it a lot in your shoulders, as you make the movement, focus on the movement coming from your chest and your back. That will change it up. We don't want to be causing more stress for our shoulders. Our shoulders get enough stress. This is really to get that movement, like a stretching motion in your chest and your back. We keep going. This is your halfway mark. 10 more. 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Our next move is our chest fly. I will be grabbing my two weights, one in each hand, and that means palms face in for this one. Hands are up, palms face in, and you open to the side, and you squeeze back up. Again, this is a chest exercise. It's catching the muscles in a different direction than what we get when we do a chest press. It's an open and a squeeze. Open and squeeze. Now at the top, stop your hands directly over your shoulders. It's a little change to it, but it makes a difference when you're doing the exercise. It's an open and a squeeze. 10 more. 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one more time. Arms stay up, tricep press. You slide your elbows down, you press them up. Slide down, press up. The focus is your tricep. But because of the way we're doing the exercise, you get to use your chest as an assister. But focus on pressing and moving up and down with the tricep. There's your slide down and press up. Slide down, press up. We are doing a total of 20. 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Bring your weights down. You can set them out of the way. I'm gonna roll mine out of the way carefully. Give yourself a nice stretch. Now it's gonna be different for all of us. I'm taking a long stretch. That's what feels good for me. Stretch it through the chest, wherever it works, little side to side. We are all going to meet on our front side in a sphinx pose. 
If you need other stretches on the way as you flip over, go for it. Otherwise, here we go. We're all going to be on our front side. Sphinx is here. That's four arms down. Use this to stretch. So really ground down to the elbows. Pretend like you're dragging your hands to your hips and lengthen the top of your head away. Release down. It's your cobra. You might choose to stay low for your cobra, but you might choose to come all the way up. And a little look side to side. Giving yourself a nice stretch here. Release yourself down. And we're going to be working the back side of the body. Hands are coming underneath the forehead. Press the feet down, which means your kneecaps come up. And we lift the upper body. It's a little lift and release down. It's your up and down. Now, really, I need you to focus on lengthening before you lift. And we're also not worried about how high we go. Five more. It's your five, four, three, Two, hold your hover up, lift it up and hold it. Sweep your hands by your thighs. Locust is here. Now you're waking up the legs, the hamstrings, the glutes, the back of the legs. Hands are by your rib cage. Cobra, bring yourself all the way up. Make it feel good. There's your stretch as you look side to side. Lower yourself down. It is your reach and pull. This is still for your back. Think lats here. Press the feet down. Lift the kneecaps. Hover the upper body. Pull your elbows back. Reach to a Y. Pull to a W. Reach to a Y. Pull to a W. It's a reach and a pull. Five. Four, three, two. We're adding on today. Take your Y, arms are out. Lift your legs and swim. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Now we're adding on right here. There's your arm and leg, arm and leg. Pick your pace. Couple more. Locust, sweep your hands back. Touch your toes. So if you were crunching by your neck and your shoulders, reach to your toes to stretch out your neck. Cobra, bring your hands by your rib cage. Keep pulling back as you lift up. There's your look side to side. Lower down, return to sphinx. Bring your forearms back in. Give yourself your stretch for your sphinx. And now we're taking this into a low plank. I like to adjust my arms. I use a little different position for low plank than I do for sphinx. I also start with my knees down so I can get engaged through the chest, the arms, the core, your choice, maybe you lift the knees, maybe you keep them down. If you kept them down, you're going to lift your alternating knees. If your knees are up with me, we're going to tap a knee, bring it up, tap a knee, bring it up. So there's your tap. You're pressing into your forearms, your elbows. You're lifting up between your shoulder blades. You're super strong through your core, four more, four, three, two. Everybody's knees go down, hold your low plank here, press back child's pose. Give yourself a big stretch. Wherever that is for you, you might like to say hi, but you might like to go nice and low.
Bring yourself to your hands and knees. Add your cow cat. Drop the belly, look up. Pull the belly in, round through your spine. Do that a few times, wherever it feels good. Get that movement, every section of your spine. Finish this one, bring yourself right to center. Lift one arm out in front of you. Feel your core working. Extend the other leg out behind. Balance here. Add your crunch. Bring your elbow to your knee. Extend it out. Elbow to knee. Extend it out. Crunch in. And out. In. Out, one more time, hold it out right here. There's your hold. Arm and leg go down, other side. Arm goes out, leg goes out. Center yourself, add your crunch. Elbow to knee, extend it out. Elbow to knee, extend it out. We bring it in and out two more times. One more time, hold it out. Hold it here. Arm and leg go down. Cow cat, one more time. Drop the belly, give yourself a nice stretch. Finish this one. We get ready to strengthen our back, that means we're gonna do rows. We're gonna do reverse flies. I'm going to tuck in some bicep curls as well. I have a heavier weight ready to go for my rows. I have a lighter weight, and when I do reverse flies, I already know I need a, I need a lighter weight. Right here, set yourself up and really think, I know we're rowing, just try to get yourself centered. Engage the core, add your pull. There is your up and your down, up and down. Lift and lower, lift, lower. So just like we did from the chest, I am doing a higher number of reps today. Ten to go here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Set the weight down so you can switch sides. We adjust sides here. Again, get into a good lower body, set yourself up, think, get yourself centered, straight, core tight, and there's your pull and your ribs. Up and down. Lift, lower. We have the little hinge forward. That's to make sure we get the back muscles. Again, and the slide of the elbow back is really so we stay out of the neck and the shoulder. Keep going. You have 10 to go here. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. You can set your weight down. Now we're coming back to the first side. It's gonna be our reverse fly. Like I said, um, we're all different. I already know I need to go lighter. It's the rear deltoid. Set yourself up 
And this is the important part. Roll the shoulder back and down. Once it's down, then you lift. So we have to keep the shoulder blade down so that we can lift and lower. And there is your up and bring it down. And then we think control. It's easy to whip your weight up. What we want to do is strengthen up, control it down. Lift and lower. And yes, we're doing a higher number of reps today. That means if you're starting to get discomfort in your shoulder, take a little break, roll that shoulder blade back and down, and then join back in. And remember to breathe. So if you are a person that likes to hold your breath with effort, exhale. There's five, four, three, two, one more time. Relax that side. Shake it out. We have the other side to go. And again, here's the important part. Get that shoulder blade. Roll it back and down. Keep it down. Then you lift and lower. Open, control down. Lift, lower. Now this is the upper back area, the back of the shoulder. This helps with our posture. We wanna keep our chest open. We can take deeper breaths when we're nice and open through our chest. Halfway there, keep it going. Again, if you're getting discomfort in your shoulder, take a little break, roll your shoulder blade back and down, and then join back in. We are almost there. You have five to go. There's five, four, three, two. Here comes your last one and then go ahead. Shake it out. We are gonna do some bicep curls, kneeling up high. I need to grab my additional weight. We'll be in this high kneeling position, bicep curls here. And when you're kneeling high, think of a little squeeze through the glutes. Shoulders, a little squeeze between the shoulder blades, keep your chest open. And then let the biceps do the work. Here comes your halfway mark. That means 10 to go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, here comes your last one, and then you can go ahead. Set the weights down. We're going on to our side. We're gonna go into our side lying exercises. We have our clamshell. Today with the clamshell, I am gonna add our shoulder, that internal external rotation. That means I am gonna hold on to my smaller weight to do this. Have your block ready to go. We'll do our inner outer thighs while we're down here. Clamshell, and like I said, I'm adding the shoulder work. So once you're here, when the leg goes up, the arm opens and you bring it down. We'll only do 10 of these. It's a little open, the weight is optional. You don't have to take it. Pay attention to your hips, yeah. We do the clamshell all the time. You still wanna make sure you're not rocking your hips back. There's your five, four, three, two. 
And now right here, you can go ahead, relax the shoulder a little bit, extend the leg out. We're gonna do our outer hip. If you wanna use your weight, go for it. If you don't want to, skip it. And there's the lift and the lower. There's your up and your down, up and down. Five more here. There's five, four, three, two. Inner thigh is maxed. Now I'm just gonna grab my block real quick. I like to rest my leg. But you could also choose to take the foot in front or behind. I am also using the thigh on my inner thigh. Mine sits there pretty good. I don't have to worry about it. That doesn't work for everybody. It's optional as you lift and lower. Lift and lower. Five, four, three, two, and one. So we have the other side to go. You're going to bring yourself over. Now, if you used your weight, take your weight with you. If you used your block, take your block with you. So once you get into your time shell, again, Shoulder, internal, external rotation. If that doesn't work for your shoulder, you can skip it. Leg set up, and then when you're ready, arm and leg move together. And then remember, hips are stacked. It's a lift, yeah, lower, lift, lower. Here's five, four, three, two, side leg lift is here, leg goes out, weight or no weight as you lift and bring it down, lift and bring it down, up and down, up and down. One more time, and then it is time for your inner full inner thigh. Pick the version you use to lift and lower of the. Bottom leg up and down, up and down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then you can go ahead, set the weight down, bring yourself right onto your back side. We're going to add in our windshield wipers. It's a chance to release your hips. Your windshield wipers, wherever it feels good for you. We're getting right into some core work then. Bring your feet flat on the floor. Take a bridge. First, I want you to get a nice little stretch here. Lift up the hips. Shoot the tailbone, tailbone away. Get a nice stretch. This is where we slide the hands under the hips. Bring your hips down on your hands. Extend your front leg out long. Crunch here. Add your exhale. Lift for your crunch. Release it down. Lift for your crunch, really sit down. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. Exhale, lift, really stop. Three, 
two. Now finish this one. You can take your hands out from under your hips. Quadricep, we haven't worked on quadricep yet. Here comes the slide of the leg up, slide the leg down. You know all the cues here. Toes, knees face the ceiling. Hips stay level. Stop at 45. And also keep a hover of the heel off the mat. We don't actually touch the mat. Five more to go here. There's five. Four, three, two, take a bridge here, foot goes down on the floor, lift your hips, use this bridge to stretch out your quadriceps, your hip flexor, hands slide underneath your hips, hips come down on your hands, the opposite leg extends out. We crunch. Crunch first. Exhale, lift. Release it down. Exhale, lift. Release down. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. Three more. Three. Two, you finish this one, hands come out from under your hips, quadricep, slide the leg up, slide the leg down. Toes, knees face the ceiling, hip bones face the ceiling, keep them level. Think of your little zip of the core as you do this. Focus on the quadricep. Really engage the quadricep and feel the work in the front of your thigh. Leg slides up, you control it down. Leg slides up, you control it down. Two more, lift, lower, one more time. Bridge is here. Take your foot down, push into the mat, lift your hips, stretch through the front of your thighs. Hips come back down. Figure four, ankle is over. Here comes your obliques, hand behind your head. Lift the shoulder blade, release it down. Lift the shoulder blade, bring it down. We lift. And lower. Now, this is focused on your core. Your hips, they stay pretty still. And you're thinking of lifting the shoulder blade off the mat. That's different than trying to lift your elbow, lift your head, your neck. You're lifting your shoulder blade. Two more here. One more time. Relax the upper body, single leg bridge. Now we bring attention to your glute and your hamstring. You lift up for your bridge, you tap down. Lift up, tap down. Each time you lift, shoot your tailbone away. That'll help lengthen your spine. Five more. Five. Four, three, two, finish this one, and we switch sides. Take that foot down from your figure four. Take the other one up. Hand behind your head. Here comes shoulder blade up, release the down. Shoulder blade up, release the down. It's a lift. And lower, lift, low. Five more, five, four, three, 
two. Next, single-legged bridge. Here we go, arms by your side. And then we press into the foot, lift your hips, and tap down. Hips go up, they tap down. Hips go up, tap down, lift, and tap. Five more, five, four, three, two. Finish this one, bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Add some circles on your back. Loosen it up right here. Change the direction of your circle. Take it around. Stretch out from your fingers to your toes. Add that big long stretch. We are going to roll up. Once you're up, take your spinal stretch. Drop your chin to your chest. Make this feel good here. Sit up tall, saw. We open our legs up wide. We take our hands out to the side. You're gonna take your twist and your reach. Kind of change it up. This should feel good after being on your back for a while. There is that reach towards your pinky and look towards your thumb. Bring it up. This is still core work. So think of the zip up of the core as you bring it up. But it's a nice chance to stretch everything out. It's a twist and reach. Pick your pace. You might like to go a little bit quicker than I do. That's fine. Go for it. Just make sure you have control. Finish out, even out each side. When you finish that, you can go ahead and bring yourself back to center and give yourself a nice spinal stretch. One more time here. Drop the chin to the chest, wherever it feels good. Give yourself a nice little stretch. We're going to sit up tall. We're coming into some of our boat poses. Feel free to keep your feet down. Arms can be to the front, but you could hold on to your thighs. Add a little lean back wherever that feels good. Once I'm back, I am gonna lift my legs today, but you can always keep your feet down. Arms are gonna go up towards the ceiling as long as it feels okay for you today. Hold it just a little bit longer. Feet can come down. Take a little butterfly bone angle. There's your chance to stretch out here. We will do that. Two more times, bring yourself up, take your knees in. It is going to be your boat pose, so wherever you want to take it, if you want to keep it a little bit smaller today, if you want to make it bigger, if you want to take your arms up, arms out to the side, that really works your core in a different way, so you only choose that if you want to take that today. Bring your feet down, take your butterfly bow eagle. Here's the little release, make it feel good here. We will do that one more time. Knees up, you choose feet up or down. Maybe your hands stay behind your thighs. Maybe they reach, they could go towards the ceiling and they could open to the side. Maybe you try a little bit of each, wherever you want to take it today. Butterfly bow angle, here we go. Bottoms of the feet together. Give yourself a nice stretch here. Now we're going to keep our legs butterfly bow angle, but I'm going to have you roll back down to the floor. Keeping your legs and your butterfly bow angle, roll down. And once you're there, we're gonna add some more crunches. Here comes the crunch up and bring it down. Lift up, lower down. It's your up and down, up and down. Three more here. Three, two, 
right here. Our dead bug is next. You're going to take your fingertips towards the ceiling. You're going to bring your knees in. Take them right over your hips. This is opposite arm, opposite leg. Pick which side you want to start with. And you can have the leg go out straight. Sometimes I like to keep mine bent. Gives a little different variation. Feels a little bit different. You still need to have all that control. Then there's your out and in. Now remember, this is the big core move. If you're not feeling it in your core, double check. Do you have your core engaged? Do you have full stability through your spine? There shouldn't be any arching happening as you extend the arm and leg out. One more time on each side like this. Even it out, arms open up to the side, squeeze your thighs together, Hip roll. Take it off to one side. Bring it to center. Take it off to the other side. Return to center. One more time like this. Each side. Roll to one side. Center. Roll to the other side. Center. Bring yourself back to the center. Hands are up. And now, same arm, same leg. You reach it out. So it's your dead bug, but now you're doing same arm, same leg. Rather, and then right arm, right leg, bring it in. Left arm, left leg, bring it in. Four more of these. There's your out, and bring it in. Out, and bring it in. One more time each side. Focus on the core. Finish this one. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Add those circles on your low back. Circle it out, circle it out. Change direction. Take a long stretch. Reach from your fingers to your toes. Add that long stretch. Bring your knee into your chest. Now we did this at the beginning. We should be more warmed up here. Can you hug the knee a little bit closer? Open your hip a little bit more. Arm opens to the side, knee goes across. Now this is a gentle spinal twist. The goal, Keep your chest open. We did all of our chest press, chest flies, pullovers. Use this to start stretching your chest and your back, as well as your hip and your leg. Bring it back to the center. Hold on behind your thigh. Take your foot up towards the ceiling. It's your hamstring stretch. So now let your hip relax into the mat. Soften the ankle, add some ankle circles. Change direction. Figure four, take the ankle over the thigh and then you bring the leg up and give yourself a stretch here. Bring the leg down, take a long stretch from your fingers to your toes. Here comes that long stretch. Reach everything out, reach it out as far as you can. Bring your knee in. Now we're on the other side. Hug the knee, give yourself a big stretch through the back, the hip, the thigh. Knee goes across the midline. Again, use this to stretch. Open your chest, gentle through the low back area. Start bringing it back to the center. 
Hold on behind your thigh, foot goes into the ceiling. It's your hamstring stretch. Soften the ankle, add your ankle circles in one direction. Ankle circles in the other direction. Figure four, bring the knee over the thigh. Leg goes up. There's your stretch for your figure four. Foot goes down, both your feet are on the mat. Windshield wiper legs, wherever that feels good for you, that's where you're going to take it. Happy baby here, bring your knees in towards your armpits. Take the bottoms of the feet towards the ceiling, let your tailbone relax, wherever it feels good. Maybe you rock, maybe you don't. You know what your body wants most. That's what you're going to do. And we all bring ourselves up into a seated position. However you want to get there. And then once you're there, we are going to go right into our gentle twist. Feet are going to be out in front of you. Slide the right leg in. You can take the leg over, hug, and twist. Bring yourself to the front, extend the right leg out, take the left leg in, it's going to come over. You're gonna add your hug, add your twist. Bring it back to the front. The bottoms of the feet are coming together. It's your butterfly bound angle. Wherever that feels good. Bring yourself all the way up one more time. Windshield wipers, here we go, in your seated position. And then we are making ourselves comfy. I will be grabbing my block. Uh, comfortable seated position so we can stretch out our upper body from using the weights. Try to release any tension we're still holding. Once you're in your comfortable seated position, right arm goes behind, left arm relaxes, left ear, left shoulder, big exhale. Lift the head, relax the arm. Here comes the other side. Arm goes behind. It's right here, right shoulder, big exhale. Lift your head, relax the arm down. Lift your chest, take a big inhale. Hug a big ball, exhale, open up between your shoulder blades. Sweep your arms up, slip your palms towards the ceiling. Give yourself a stretch here. Fingertips go up. Is one hand behind, trust out your tricep. Fingertips go up, take the other hand behind, elbow up. Fingertips go up. Now bring your arms down, but flip your thumbs down. Clasp your hands behind your back. Lift your chest. There is that opening for the front of the chest, front of the shoulders. If you want to lift your chin, go for it. Your choice. Arms release. Look straight ahead. Give yourself a big hug. Wrap. If you want to take eagle arms, we did all those reverse flies. Use this to stretch your upper back. Get the rear deltoid, stretch it out. We switch sides. Open your arms up. Take it to the other side. Maybe you keep the hug. Maybe you take the wrap. Open the arms up. 
Drop your arms by your side. Give yourself a nice, great big shoulder roll. Rest your hands on your lap here and turn your head to the right. Give yourself a neck stretch. Turn and look over your left shoulder. Look to the front, drop your chin to your chest. Lift your chin to the ceiling. Look straight ahead, drop your arms by your side. Give yourself a big shoulder roll. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Take a big inhale, reach up with your inhale. Blow it out, exhale. Two more times, reach up, big inhale. Blow it out, exhale. And one more time, it's your up, inhale. Blow it out, exhale. And thank you all very much.